hi everyone welcome again hi everyone welcome again in this video we will continue the discussion on fundamentals and we will discuss three concepts cash expiration cash eviction and cash invalidation so the idea is to do a comparative study of these terms in order to better understand the differences and once we are comfortable with the fundamentals we will do a deep dive so here we see a table with three terms expiration eviction and invalidation and in the first column we see three rows each row specifies a criteria like definition the purpose and the implementation so if we start with cash expiration the definition says it's about considering a cash item stale what do we mean by that it means that cash expiration refers to a condition this condition could be a time limit or any other condition after which a cash data the entry which is already in the cash is considered stale or outdated so it's about considering a cached item stale but cash expiration doesn't say anything about removing the cash entries it comes under cash eviction so cash eviction is the process of removing or replacing items from the cash how do we decide which entries to remove or replace that we will discuss in a second but it's about removing or replacing cached entries in case of cash invalidation the cached entries are marked invalid explicitly which may trigger a refresh or refetch of the original data from the original source the important thing to note in cache invalidation is that the entries are marked explicitly and proactively moving on to the purpose when we talk about cache expiration the goal is to ensure that the cache data remains fresh and up to date and we do it by periodically checking and updating the cache Cache eviction has a similar goal. It not only ensures that the most relevant and frequently accessed data is retained in the cache, but it also manages the size of the cache. And it's important because caching is about storing a subset of data. And so we need to use the cache storage intelligently. Keeping the hot or frequently accessed data in cache means higher cache hits. And so we need to manage the size of the cache. That's the idea of cache eviction. The goal of cache invalidation is similar which is to ensure that the users of the cache receive the latest and up-to-date information. The only difference is it does it proactively and generally in response to the changes in the underlying data. So for example, we have a database, an employee database, and then we have a cache where we are storing the frequently accessed employee objects. Now let's say one of the employee objects got changed in the database that would trigger a notification and we may choose to proactively invalidate the entry, the cached entry, which got just updated in the database, which will trigger a refresh. That means the cache will now read the updated information of that employee from the database. So here we are invalidating the cached entry explicitly and proactively in order to ensure the freshness of the data. Coming to the implementation, cache expiration is generally implemented using timestamps or a TTL property, which is time to live. So in this case, each cache entry would have a timestamp associated with it. And let's say when the TTL or the time to live property is reached, the entry is marked as expired. And so the subsequent requests for this expired entry will result in a cache mess, which will trigger a refresh from the original data source. There are different strategies for implementing cache eviction. One could be size-based, in which we define a maximum capacity for a cache and let's say when the cache reaches its maximum capacity, we will evict some entries to make room for new data. The second strategy could be condition based. We have different policies like LRU, least recently used, LFU, least frequently used, or most recently used. So depending on the policies or the met conditions, the cached entries are evicted or purged from the cache. And in case of cache invalidation, rather than waiting for the data to naturally expire the application generally sends a command or a method call to the caching layer that hey i need to invalidate this cache entry or a subset of data so the entries are invalidated and then refreshed or refetched when requested next so to summarize the expiration is perfect for the scenarios where the entries can be considered stale or outdated after a certain period of time Cache eviction is important as it helps in managing the size of the cache and prioritizing the frequently accessed items in the cache. And cache invalidation is generally required when changes in the source data need to be reflected immediately in the cache. So in a nutshell, it's all about managing the freshness of the data in the cache. It's all about managing the size of the cache. The only difference is 
in some cases it happens naturally but in other cases it's often event driven or happens proactively but they all help in optimizing the performance of the cache and relevance of the cache data so that's all on the basics of expiration eviction and invalidation and in the upcoming lectures we will spend some more time on these concepts so that's all for now see you in the next video